Happy Saturday, everybody. It's me again in my swing. You know, the video that I actually, oops, not my drink over. The video, oops, that I actually shot was about 27 minutes long, which I wanted to edit it. Actually, you know, speed up the, speed it up. But uh, I put this new uh, movie editor thing on my iPhone and I think it makes all the videos like out um, down to a minute which kind of sucked but when I looked at the full video there were some very unflattering places where my fat was showing and I'm very self-conscious of my weight gain this is not really this wide angle lens doesn't help much either <laughs> but anyhow um, I got to do some gardening though I don't really want to <laughs> I know I'm such a slacker. I'm such a bad garden girl this year. I saw just watched my sister's video, the overview of her garden down in Austin, Texas, and she always has a big vegetable garden, and she's really into canning and pickling, which I don't really care to do those things. I usually, uh, I have a, a vacuum sealer, and I usually vacuum seal and freeze stuff. But I just, uh, I just didn't want, uh, wasn't able to put the work into it this year to dig it up because I do it all by hand by myself you know she has a sweetie in her life who uh likes to garden and help her out i do not paul will help on like some big things if i need it and if it doesn't take me very long but our schedules are so different and he would rather eat the stuff than tend the stuff typical typical man but that's all right i um this year i'm giving that part of the yard a break i think i mentioned that in, oops in a previous video just hope this is loud enough. I didn't want to get out the individual mic because I'm lazy. It's Saturday. Today, um, well, I guess I can, I'm going to turn around so you can see it here. I had pretty much weeded the side of the garden here under the allium. There's a few little spots, but I did a bunch of weeding last night. And this is the side that's got less color. So I am going to plant the stuff that needs to be planted all around here along the bottom of the allium for lots of color pop and then i am going to uh work on the other side getting it weeded probably tomorrow or monday and because it's not going to rain after all and uh put a bunch of marigolds in down there and then one little section of that area over there gets a little too much shade so i i don't know i'm gonna do some impatience in big pots i think but so today I'm going to be using one of my new tools Paul got me. Fresh battery. Uh-huh. Yeah, look at the teeth on that. I'm going to use that to uh, trim around the roses and some tall grass stuff that um, I can't get to with the push mower. And some stuff that uh, the weed eater is just too heavy for me to lug it around to do it all. Just stuff around the garden, actually. And sit here in my swing while it's cool in the shade because of course I face west and so by about no nah, what is it now well, 12 30 almost one so by about three o'clock this chair is going to be unbearable to sit in until it gets dark and I like to watch the sunset because to the east is all these trees oops can't see them god I keep forgetting that the east is what's behind me yeah, lovely car, all these trees, and then that's, oops, oh, where am I going? Yeah, the side yard is east, back there. And of course, you know, there's the fence. The greedy developers back there, you know, built right up against our, uh, our property line and put up all these big two-story homes and people leave their lights on all night the garage lights even if they're a uh, home and not expecting anybody else home so the lights affect uh, watching the moon or the stars or anything anyway I don't really like the people back there or the housing development so it's kind of a bit of a bone of contention and you'll probably hear about me bitch about it quite a lot but so today I'm in braids only because um, I feel like I put my hair up too much. 
and it's getting a little bit thinner, which is hard for me to accept because I've always had really thick, thick less hair. Um, I mean, it's not drastically thin, but every time I get out of the shower, I'm like, how am I not bald already? But, uh, and I've had a little breakage issue, but I got some special breakage shampoo. I think it's just because I put it up in a bun or on top of my head so often, because I'm just so warm natured that it smothers me. I keep threatening to cut it short, then a pixie cut again, but I don't know. I haven't had a pixie cut with this much weight on me before, so I don't know how it's going to look. Sometimes I can think I can hide my chins and the fullness behind my hair. I don't know how, how much good that does, but... Oh, okay. Look, my, uh, my uh, straps are holding in the video that my uh, um, little app uh, cut down to one minute instead of 27. I mentioned that um, after I researched into the ropes and the protector I need to put on the tree and that kind of stuff, um, I realized I didn't have any of that. And so since I'm not using my hammock right now, I took the straps and the really heavy duty carabiners from a hammock and double did them both. I used both straps. So, this is so weird. I'm not used to a selfie stick. So I would have the strength and um, disperse the weight a little bit, you know. I don't wanna hurt the tree, it's old, but you know, and Paul had said, oh, I said, you know, I found a spot in the dogwood and I saw where the dogwood is hard enough wood and it was a thick, strong enough branch. And I've got it pretty close to the trunk. Um, it will hold the swing. And he's like, not until it won't once you get in it. I'm like, ah, that's mean and hurtful. Which he doesn't really mean it that way. He just doesn't have the same filter we do. That little bit of Asperger's pops out. But anywho, um, and I know he doesn't really mean it, but it still gets to me because I'm very self-conscious. I know I need to get past that, and I admire people who can just their weight doesn't bother them so much. Or if it does, you know they. I don't know, they just personify so much. They just always feel beautiful and attractive. And I don't know if it's because I've been single for so long and, and nobody has paid me any attention in, oh gosh, eight years since anyone's really looked at me um, like a girl. But then again, I don't socialize. So, but anyway, so I'm a little more self-conscious and I've really got to work on getting rid of the middle. My legs and my arms are all skinny, but I'm just carrying this, uh, I'm an adrenal body type, and I just carry it around the middle, runs in my family. As we get older, we develop a belly and a butt. I mean, I always had a nice little butt, but whew, this thing is just, it's expansive. Anywho, it's killing time, really. <laughs> I've got all afternoon. The hide-up gets more miserable I get. I did bring a bandana because I did have it tied around my head, but that was making me kind of hot and I'm so warm natured, and, but I sweat, such a head sweater. So I left the hibiscus. You can see her right over there. Out all night, went down to the forties, but I just, she's heavy and I'm sitting lugging her back and forth. I might bring her in tonight, but you know, she's four years old. She's just gonna have to suck it up because I just don't want to carry her in. I mean, I hate to see anything happen to her because she blooms all winter for me. And she may be fine, a little shocked, but it'll be hot and humid soon enough. And she'll be out here by her lonesome and she'll be loving it because she's in Florida. But anyway, just trying to get motivated to walk to the back of the yard and fill up my pot planter for the sage which I didn't do last night. And my friend Colin in Scotland just likes it when I sit here and banter, but I really don't have that much to say today. I just filled the bird feeders and sprinkled some bird feed out in the yard. I'm sure if I'm quiet, they'll come around. The birds here are usually pretty toler tolerant of me and they get used to me in the summer as do the bees and the butterflies. and. I just am trying to find some motivation. It would probably help if I had slept last night, but 
I developed this bad habit, and it's an unhealthy habit, but I only sleep about every other night. I just get to reading or watching something or doing stuff late at night, and I just stay up. And then when I reach a certain point, I'm like, there's no point going to bed because now I've got daytime productive stuff I gotta do. So, so I stayed up all night, but I slept like yesterday, and like I'll probably go to bed early tonight, you know, 11 or 12 ish, and then I'll uh, probably sleep till 11 or 12 tomorrow because it's lazy Sunday. But I know I should really, really work on changing my schedule and and my getting my ri my circadian rhythms back in in line. And it's he probably not healthy not to only sleep every other day, but at least when I do sleep now, I sleep many hours. But I think that's I feel better doing that than I did when I only slept about five hours a night every night for 20 some odd years. But anyhow. I wish people would stop driving up and down the street while I'm trying to be peaceful. Our street is not really a busy street, but there's only like so many streets that feed from the beach road into town, so we get traffic. And I think because it's a two lane, not right in the middle of town where there's lots of cops road, people like to speed down it. Damn them. But anywho, I'm gonna head to the garden and get some stuff done. And I'll chat with you guys later. Um, have a great Saturday. I hope it's sunny and bright where you're at. Not too hot, not too cold. Um, I think our high today is going to be 76, maybe. Maybe. But um, I'll enjoy it. You enjoy yours. Um, like this video. Hit the subscribe button. And I'll chat with y'all later. Bye.